Welcome back. We have found the Cavefish Cave, where hopefully we can find a ramp, the last thing we need to cross the gorge. And you can actually... I think you can get off your bike here, but... Um, I don't spelunk. You're supposed to actually just drive further into the cave. So that was entirely pointless. corner in the road here with a very bad looking guardrail made out of wood. Doesn't look very sturdy, but whatever. What the hell? What kind of people are these cave fish? Everything about these guys is creepy. Actually, I just thought of something. If this is a Corley motorcycle, and Corley Motors is the last motorcycle maker in the country, who makes those other motorcycles that um, the K-Fish and those other guys were riding? Well, I guess they must be imports. I don't think we want to mess with the fortress. Don't think I'm getting in there. But we don't need to, because the ramp is conveniently right here. Property of the Ricky Myron Traveling Stunt Show. Not anymore. Now, we can't actually carry the ramp in our pocket. This game is slightly more reasonable than that. You have to hook it up to your bike. And let's vamoosh. We're doing okay so far. Looks like we might get out undetected. Or possibly not. Yeah. Spirit of Ricky Myron. That's really the only possible explanation. I mean, it couldn't possibly be a person who broke into the cave and stole the ramp. Okay, it seems we can't get out of the cave carrying the ramp ahead of those um, cave fish. But remember what we know about the cave fish. They navigate using the dots in the road because they're pretty much blind otherwise. So if those dots aren't there, they don't know where to go. And should those dots, for example, be missing at a corner, they would just go straight and drive off a cliff. And as the game has been reminding us constantly, by all the bumps you get when you drive over them, they are actually physically on top of the road, these um, dots. They're not like the regular cat size. And did you notice that? The ramp can actually move them away. 
So that's all the clues you need to figure out what to do here. Besides, the fact that the screen with the corner is there and seems to serve no other purpose or no regular purpose otherwise between uh, being a waypoint between um, the outside of the cave and here seems to suggest you're supposed to do something here. So what we need to do is use the ramp, get rid of some of those dots. This is going to end badly. For them. I'm done with these boys. And obviously, um, the thing to do when you're wanted for murder and want to clear your name is commit some actual murders. But it's cave fish, so I don't think anyone will care. They don't seem to be very well liked. We got a ramp. Property of the Ricky Myron Traveling Stunt Show. Looks good where it is. Okay. And we got um, booster fuel, and we got the hover lift, so we should be able to jump this gorge. And if not, then that will be the end of the game, I guess. Kind of a risky thing to do. And honestly, even if the gorge is miles and miles, driving around it probably would have been quicker at this point. Alright, I've modified my bike enough. That's a long way back. I guess we need to run up. This is gonna be awesome. Yeehaw! Hell yeah, we did that! It's the Corley Motors factory! Kind of an ominous looking building, but whatever. The Corley Motors factory. Holy ground. Yes, hallowed ground for the polecats. Cool. Hmm. No. I cannot take the, the factory. Um, is there an entrance? Looks like there's an entrance. Corley Motors. I've been meaning to come here for years. This is really a religious pilgrimage for me. A religious pilgrimage with a lot of butt kicking. And that's the best kind of uh, pilgrimage. Just ask any Corian. That's one big door. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to kick that one in. I'm here for the shareholders' meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. Also, aren't you wanted for murder? Is it really a good idea to go knocking on the door of the building that you're supposed to have murdered the CEO of? That didn't work. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Wait, is that a pig? I mean, that's... a phase of something, but that No, I guess it's also a phase. It's just that it's dark. 
kind of looked like a pig. I don't know. Might just be my monitor. Well... That's not gonna work. If the front entrance doesn't work, perhaps there is another entrance we can use. What's this? Stadium. Is that a football stadium? What kind of sports would they do at a motorcycle factory? Motorsports, probably. Looks like something big's going on in there. Yeah, all the lights are on. Hmm. No. Souvenirs here! We got your hats. We got your pennants. We got it all right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. Drive Corley Motors merchandise. Remote control. Let's see if this Our guy knows what's going on. Included. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. Why does a motorcycle company the sell bunnies? Bunny of the Corley Motors Smashatorium. <laughs> we got your t-shirts in. That's what happened a regular job will do to you. All sizes Awful, and isn't it? <clears throat> what can I get you? Why are the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage Coley hardtail. Completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. That's... the bait, isn't it? Are they planning to get Maureen to enter this demolition derby? Surely she's not that stupid. What's this big arena doing way out here? Corley built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. Surely there's nothing more wholesome than a demolition derby. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Um, hmm. Bunnies, the car. Bunnies, plenty of. Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. <laughs> Dang, there goes another one. How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Bunnies, and plenty of them. You want bunnies? I got your bunnies. How much you got on you? Um, can I just take them out for a test drive? I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need the bunnies. They do look kind of cute, but what possible use could they have? Those uh, shirts come in extra, extra large. Eh. Eh, no. But they're pretty shrunk. No thanks. What do those pennants say on them? Can't beat a Corley, they say. Kind of ironic, actually, considering how he died. It's too so, soon, old man. Right on your bedroom wall. No walls. My bike is my home. We could set you up with a little pole so you could uh, make a flag, you know, for your back seat. I'll uh, think about it. Do you actually have any money? As much as I need. Apparently nothing. Uh, I guess we could see if he knows any vultures around here. Let's see if Moe's maybe around. Seen any vultures around here? Nah, we don't have much of a vulture problem here. Even though their hideout is right up the road. They stay pretty much locked up in there. Not very social. Their hideout is around here. Now that is interesting. What's in the hat? I don't know. Came filled with it. And Probably yet you're drinking sort of it. Material. Packs a punch, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Looky here. Nothing personal. But why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, alright? Just clearing my throat. So there's a vulture yeah, hideout around here. With your drink of choice. But maybe we can uh, find that in the next video.